Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today is another day in the life working in IT. Today I'm gonna take you with me to today's work and just show you what we typically do at work. It varies, every day is different, but I'm just gonna show you some of the tasks and tickets and issues that we work on and also some projects. So I just arrived at work and it's around 7-ish because I usually start at 7-ish in the morning and this is my office. Just a quick uh, tour, I have a small office here, this is my setup, I have two monitors, and I do have a riser in here, so I could work while standing up, and yeah, that's it, it's a mess. Okay, so I just typically eat my breakfast at the desk while I'm going through my emails in the morning, I don't have time to eat breakfast at home, so I'm gonna see you in a bit after I'm done eating. Okay, so my first task this morning is patching some of our production computers that we use in our software. So computer patching is some changes that we do to our computer system to fix, update, and improve our systems from vulnerabilities or bugs. So it really depends on the company how they do the patching, but it's part of an IT professional's responsibility as well to maintain our systems just like how we maintain our hardware. So we do monthly patching in the company where I work. In my previous job, I do patching like every weekend because it's less impactful. So in here, it's different because I don't work the weekends. I can do it early in the morning, so it doesn't really impact a lot of people. So most of our systems, especially Especially the end machines and user machines like computers laptops we do automatic updates and patching for them we just do manual patching for the critical systems like the production systems that we use because there's more steps that we have to take and we have to reboot them one by one also and make sure that they come back online before rebooting the other one and so and we also do some restores to the system and back up to the system just to make sure that if the update or the patch broke something at least we can roll back to the previous version so so that's what i'm gonna do first thing in the morning since there's still no people around it's still seven ish so patching is the first task yeah no one's using this room yet that's why it's perfect time for me to do the patching and of course, whenever I'm rebooting, I do a continuous ping so I would know if it's still timing out or it's coming back online. Okay, so we got some new switches here. Our current switch that we are using in the buildings are end of life. So I am going to unbox one of them later to show you what kind of switch we're getting because we are also going to configure it and rack it later on. so I'm just gonna install the power supply because they were packaged separately so it comes with two power supplies in here and it's so easy to install you just push it to the switch and once it clicks on the latch it means that you have inserted it properly and now you can just connect the power cords to it when you are ready to configure it too 
Okay, so the switch is a Cisco Catalyst 9300, and this is a managed switch, which means that you can configure it. And this is also a 48 port switch that is rack mountable, you can rack it, and it's also stackable which means you can stack more switches together and i will show you later on when i'm building the switch but this is what we will be using in the building this also has a switching capacity of 128 gigs per second and it has power over ethernet capability too i also need a console cable that is usb to micro usb and I can't find one in the building, so I'm just gonna have to order one so I can configure the switch. So console cables are the blue cables, just like in this picture, that are used to connect networking devices like switches and routers to terminals or computers so you can configure them. And of course, when you are building a switch from scratch, especially a new switch from the box you are not going to have ssh connection to it right away because you have to configure it first so you would need a console cable like this to connect the switch to a computer so that you can access the switch and you can do your commands and configurations so there are different console cables this one is the db9 to rj45 and the newer one, which is the USB-A to mini USB, which is so much easier now to connect to a laptop or a computer compared to the DB9. And most of the time, we need the USB to DB9 serial adapter cable, just like this, because our computers and laptops nowadays don't have the DB9 port anymore, and USB ports are more common, so we would need a USB adapter for this if you are using the older DB9 to RJ45 cable. Okay, so this is the console cable that I found. It's the DB9 to RJ45, and at least I found an adapter for it too. But I was told to install a driver for the adapter when I was looking for a console cable. So I'm gonna have to install a driver for me to use this. So at the back of the switch is where we can insert the RJ45. So we can have the access and the USB-A will go to the laptop. Okay, so I haven't been able to record a lot of the things that I've done this week because we had a lot of meetings. Today we have three meetings. One is the weekly IT meeting. So it depends on the company how many meetings or if you have meetings with your IT team or your other departments. But we do have a weekly IT meeting where we talk about announcements, any technical announcements that are really important that we have to share within the company and then we have top priorities also like major outages major issues that we have to prioritize major projects also that we have to do like installing more access points in our building replacing switches that are end of life those are the major projects that we talk about in the meeting we discuss how we will plan and tackle the projects who will be assigned the projects we will be deploying them so we have a like an hour or two hour weekly meeting with it and then about all of that and we also talk about our individual tasks that are really important and some of the things that we are really struggling that we need help with so the team collaborates on that